Next up, I have Sagittarius. Sagittarius, if you didn't know, I had COVID. I'm still not 100%, but let's go. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. All right. Um, I have a lot of readings to do, so <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's see what Spirit has to say for you today. All right. Education, 43, 7. Seven is actually having to do with, it's a spiritual number, having to do with, um, there's a lot of sevens in the Bible, okay? Um, yeah, but this is a spiritual thing. Um, some of you all may be religious, um, going to church, learning the Bible, um, being on the spiritual path. Some of you all may be spiritual educators as, as far as the Bible is concerned because seven speaks of, um, psych, uh, luck is on your side, but, uh, blessings, um, Jesus. This speaks of stuff like that. It's deep. I don't want to go into the number seven, but 43 means seven. Some of you all may be 43 years old, but education or 34. Education is an important part of your soul's development at this time. So learning new subjects, learning new topics, um, really um, mastering one thing and learning a next thing. Learning, learning, learning. That's what life is about. So education. Um, some of you all may be in school right now taking literal arts. Don't know which way you want to go but um i see that you guys are on a spiritual journey um teaching about spirituality education educating people educators that's what you guys are doing you're educating people because seven is spiritual uh, on um the spiritual realm spirituality um jesus the bible uh this is a really uh deep uh that i i feel this is gonna be a deep video video but uh let's keep going but i'm high off of uh, medication right now so um yeah openness bright you see you guys are very bright very bright because you guys are avid readers you guys are um you guys educated oneself and educating others this is what i see embrace the possible and this is what you guys are doing embracing the possible right now a lot of brightness around you um that's very good you're you're open-minded individual okay most sagittarius are okay embracing the possibilities all right but um but not but open to learn openness open to learn new ideas learning new subjects learning people learning what the world is about learning spirituality teaching others educating others yeah okay um you're very close to achieving your goal bam some of you all may love aqua blue uh blue something um in terms of blue some of you all may love yellow but yellow means friendship so developing friendship with others but aqua blue look out for aqua blue okay yes you're very close to achieving your goals so don't stop keep going okay that is the key keep learning keep developing oneself and keep educating others knowing thyself that's what i heard knowing thyself you know what you could bring to the table yeah you see self-preservation okay yes growth you're all about growth right now okay in harmony with oneself family matters okay dealing with family children um yeah but still dealing with your inner demons so at a at a crossroads it's like um how could i say you're elevating you're ascending but at the same time, still dealing with your inner demons, still educating yourself, still on your spiritual growth, still evolving into oneself. But self-preservation, you know this. It has to do with family matters. So karmic family, karmic friends, um, children, um, baby mother, baby father. Okay, but but um, um, inner demons speak of um, exposing oneself, um, not wanting to expose oneself, but... Um, so say for instance that i'm only the messenger so say for instance you had a family right Pre uh, preservation right knowing thyself okay but not exposing oneself but you know that this in so you 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 see business suit you're all about your business you put you 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 you're putting it out there that you're this type of person but deep down inside 
you may have kids, but like the same sex. You got what I'm saying? So it's like, you understand what I'm saying, right? So it's fighting with your inner demons or your authenticity. That's what you're fighting with right now. Okay, let's keep going. I don't want to get deep into that. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, but you see, you got a lot of eyes on you right now. A lot of people are focused on you right now. Um, so you may be dealing with somebody that has blue, green eyes, or blue eyes, green eyes, hazel eyes. But somebody is um, all eyes for you, watching you, focused on you. Okay? Yes. Uh, a divine masculine is coming in. Again, some of you all may be in the same sex. Fighting with your inner demons to come out to who you really are, your authenticity. Spirit wants you to come out because interview, okay? I see that you guys are going to be boss type, but interviewing people. But somebody wants to talk to you, have a conversation with you, get on the same page. But it's like an interview with oneself. Fighting your inner demons, your authenticity, who you really are. You don't want to expose oneself. That's not my problem. That's your problem, Sagittarius. Only you, you know you, right? Let's keep going. You see? Because you're, you're, you're sitting back. And you're like, you know, like, who am I? You know who you are. But it's like, but I see a divine masculine. If you guys are same sex, I see a divine masculine coming in. Has an eye for you. Okay, divine, masculine, feminine, whatever, whatever you want to, you know, this is gender free here. Okay, whatever you want to call yourself. Okay, but you know what? Addictions. Um, you guys, but you guys better slow down with the alcohol, the pill popping, the partying, the drugs. Okay, overdosing. All right, sexual addictions because I said see sexual fantasies. Okay. Somebody is sexually desiring, desiring you, but I see that, that somebody has is focused on you and is addicted to you. But they have a lot of sexual fantasies towards you, okay? Now, meant to be. This relationship is magical. It's meant to be. Okay, so somebody feels like this is, this is like a twin flame soulmate kind of connection. They feel like you are meant to be. I see that you guys reunited around the 4th of July. Fireworks. Um, meeting at a place that you guys, okay, but be very careful with people at this time because a lot of people are focused on you and addicted to you, okay, and you guys are like going through the spirit, you guys are, are, okay, so you guys are in between right now, you guys are ascending but stuck, all right, because it's your authenticity, you're fighting with who you are, you're embracing the possibilities, yes, a lot of bright future when you accept who you are and what it is that you want but i see that a soulmate twin flame coming in you just gotta accept it embrace it and that's it because you're very close to achieving your dreams yes but i see a lot of addictions sexual shit going on here that you need to um and your inner demons <laughs> finding oneself knowing oneself knowing thyself okay being true to oneself okay that's the that's the fucking test right here. All right? Let's keep going. All right, Spirit, give me two cards to set off Sagittarius, please. Yeah, you see? You're in Emperor status right now. Okay, it actually came out backwards, upside down. All right, so I'm gonna leave it upside down because this is actually how it came out. All right, but with the Knight of Swords and the Emperor turned upside down, right? Emperor, Empress, right? With the Emperor standing upright, know thyself. But with the, yes, you guys, you guys are Emperor, Empress status, right? You guys know it. But you're not being true to oneself. And with the Knight of, Knight of Swords coming in, some type of communication coming in online, some type of truth coming into you. Okay? But I'm going to leave the Emperor because that's why I came out upside down. 
you're, 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 you're losing oneself, not knowing oneself, not being true to oneself. Yeah, and this is having to do with family, kids, finances, business. Um, be careful because I see a lot of money around you guys, but you guys are spending it foolishly. Yeah, with the strength card, sign of Leo. Um, you guys are building your strength. You guys, you guys stay strong, right? You guys have this strong exterior, like I'm strong, right? You guys are a fire sign. I'm strong. Up this infinite abundance, trying to manifest. But how can you manifest when you're not in the right state of mind? Because you guys are not. Yeah. You see? You guys are not in the right state of mind. Introspection. Self-reflection. You see the bandage around your head? Battling in what's in oneself. Mentally. Mentally battling oneself. A lot of introspection here. A lot of introspection. Yeah. But with the Six of Wands, I see that you guys are going to be coming. Be, I see you guys in the limelight. You guys are victorious, but you guys are schooling people, educating people, right? But you guys, you know, are not, are still dealing with your inner demons. You got to deal with your inner demons before you educate other people. I'm just saying. But with the Six of Wands, it's like, like sitting on your podium, you know, like in the limelight, successful. Yes, you guys are going to be very successful in life. All right. And I see that you guys are going to be engaged and married, but you see Five of Wands fighting with oneself. Yes, you guys are successful. You guys are about money, but you're still suffering with addiction, sexual, this, that, in the mind. There's a lot of shit going on with you guys. Okay? Yes, you see? Ten of Wands. A lot of burden on you. A lot of burden. So, although you maintain happy, like your key, happy out there, yeah, ah, ah, you guys are still in, the, in what people don't see. Is your fucking inner demons and what the fuck you're battling and the fucking the the burden that you're holding on to. And you know what it is? It's yourself. What I said this reading ago is all about you. Yeah, because with the wheel of fortune, right? It came out upside down. Okay? With the wheel of fortune, nothing is moving. Nothing is, you feel like nothing is moving, nothing is progressing. You know why? Because you're here. You're still in between. Either you're this or you're that. Spirit wants you to be authentic. Be who you are. So if you're going to educate people, if you're going to be educate, because seven is the word. Seven is the word. Seven is the Bible. Seven is Jesus. Seven is like promoting like spirituality, you know, educating people, right? I don't know who this message, but take it out of the resonates. The will of fortune is upside down. Nothing, the seven is will of fortune, right? It's not right it's upside down because god is saying like okay if you're going to educate people if you're going to teach my word be true to who you are first before you teach my word and teach others see what i'm saying yeah because see with the ace of pentacles upside down again <laughs> as long as you don't be true to yourself nothing is gonna everything is gonna be blocked blockage 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 Everything is blocked. You're standing strong, right? You're all about a business, money. The emperor's backwards. The will of fortune is backwards. The ace of pentacles is backwards. You're very close to achieving your goal, but guess what? As long as you don't, if, as long as you don't be true to who you are and fight those inner demons, this is never gonna come upright. High priestess, very intuitive. So Spirit is saying, you see the B and the J? What do you think the B and the J stands for? This stands for Beelzebub and Jehovah. So you see, you're in between good and bad right now. You're in between good and bad. You know you know the dark side, you know the light side. But you're trying to teach the light, but you're still in the dark. So you're still fighting your inner demons, so you're in between right now. But with the high priestess, you can't teach you can't teach about holy things with the cross. But you still you still don't find oneself. You didn't still don't know oneself. You're still not teaching the truth. You're still not true to oneself. Um got what I'm saying? You can't be on both sides of the field. You can't stay, you can't act like you're straight, but you're gay. I'm just, I'm just being, I'm just putting it out there. This is, <laughs> okay, you can't. Yes, you have kids, but 
How many gay people have kids? Okay, so it's being true to oneself. All right, you can't teach of the light, but you're still in the dark. You're still in between Beelzebub and Jehovah. See what I'm saying? So everything is going to flip upside down until you get it right. That's the high priestess. Okay, this is a deep reading. This is a spiritual reading because you're educating people. You're educate. You're you're learning, but in order to learn and ascend and be, but it, learning is being true to who you are, and you're not being true to who you are, and what you stand for. So you can't teach others about being one way when you're not fucking doing that way. See what I'm saying? You're being you, you you're a false prophet. Got what I'm saying? So your money. Everything is going to be at a standstill. And people that's going to realize this are going to look at you as a false prophet with the emperor turned upside down. So when the emperor turned upside, you, you're educating people. People look up to you. When it turned upside down, people is going to look at you as a false prophet. Or, you know, yeah, knight of wands. You know, knight of wands is somebody young. Hold on. Young, fiery. Okay, yeah. So with the Knight of Wands, this is somebody young, fiery, passionate, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, all about sex, all about sexual fantasies. Okay, in and out of people's lives. All right, not being true to oneself, though. Not being true to oneself. Yeah. See, so with the with the swords here, two of swords, spirit is gonna block out anything and everything coming to you. Whoever this message is for, as Sagittarius, if this is not your message, go to another message because this is for somebody that is an educator that's looking to the possibilities of gaining trust from society but not being true to oneself, okay? So, like, the devil's advocate. They're drinking, they're smoking, they're having sexual fantasies, they're teaching people the word, but they have a lot of shit going on. And they're in between. They don't know who they are. So if this is not your message, go about your business. But this is for somebody that really fucking need this right now. Because you're very close to achieving your goal if you be who the fuck you are. Okay? Yeah. Nine of Swords. Having a lot of sleepless nights up in your head. Okay? Queen of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, in your feelings right now. Holding your cup tight to you. Don't want to give your love away. Don't want to show the world the real you. You're, you know, you're giving your love to people, right? Certain people, but really not exposing who you are. Your real true self, okay? With the page of cups, you're going to have to apologize to society, okay? But um, somebody wants to come in with their apology, but I see that apologies are coming because um, with the seven of wands, you're going to have to be fighting for your status. You see the dragon on the shirt? Some of you may be born in the year of the dragon. Or this person may be born in the year of the dragon. But fighting for your status. Fighting against people once you're exposed. This is what I'm saying. So be true to yourself. Because, oh my God. With the four of wands. It's like holding back your true self. You see how you're holding the coin to your chest? It's like not exposing oneself. Okay? Mm-hmm. Five of wands. Lot, again, fighting with your inner demons. Fighting with who you are. Fighting with other people. Because um, God is, is asking you to do something, but you're not doing it. Because with the temperance, Sagittarius, this is your sign. Right? Balance cannot be restored in your life. But balance is going to be restored once you, once you, ten of swords, get rid of the pain, the anger, whatever is holding you back from becoming who you really are, okay? Because with a magician, okay, you're very wise. You know how to gravitate people, okay? Magician, you know how to manifest, but things are blocked right now. Things are going to be blocked because you're in between. Who do you serve? Beelzebub or Jehovah? Be true to who you are, okay? Yes. Because look at what's coming once you be true to who you are. With the full card, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Empress, I see a lot of growth. A lot of things opening up to you, a lot of business, a lot of opportunities, marriage, long-term relationship. Um, yes. Uh, with the full card, moving, marching to your own beat. Being true 
to who you are leaving the city behind and being true to who you are showing people who you are okay aquarius aries leo uh, i mean libra taurus taurus capricorn virgo the empress is um pisces cancer scorpio virgo strength card is leo the wheel of fortune is aquarius leo scorpio taurus So once you once you step out in the forefront and be who you are and don't give a fuck what people have to say, you're gonna be flying flying straight. As long as you keep lying to yourself, everything is gonna be closed off. I don't know who this reading's for, but this is what I heard. This is <laughs> I I'm just a messenger, okay? Um yeah, let me get some infinite oracle here. You know what? Let me get some, yeah, the infinity book. Some of you may have been dealing with somebody that had a family already. Or, yeah. All right. Yeah karmic partner okay some of you all may have been dealing with a karmic partner okay yes but you got to know your self-worth all right keep the faith it's time to close out the ou and with the new codependency addictions all right set those healthy boundaries okay somebody's gonna be chasing you there's a twin flame maybe a same sex relationship okay but the end of a tough cycle is near okay this was a karmic lesson that you had to get through all right some of you all may be in separation right now but have family concerns again family matters all right but not showing your true self but a generous offer is coming in which is a cause for celebration but you see here's the thing with this reading it's about being true to who you are being true to who you are. So it's like stepping out. It doesn't matter if you had a family or kids. If you like the same sex, you like the same sex. That's it. It doesn't matter about family or what people think about you or this and that and the third. Okay? It's about being true to who you are. Educating people on who they are and being true to who they are. This is what spirit and embracing the possibilities because you're very close to achieving your goals. Very close. But you're stuck in between of who you serve this is meant to be whether it's a same sex relationship this is meant to be okay let me get some working cards I'm closing this fucking shit out this is this is this is it's not confusing I know what the fuck it is but it's like you're confused all right yes inspire influencer I see that you inspire a lot of people but once people find out who you are they're gonna be uninspired okay when you become influential in your field you inspire people to step into their own greatness you inspire people to step into their own greatness when you step into your own greatness how are you gonna teach others to step into their own greatness when you're not stepping into your own greatness okay because you rose to your own first because you rose to your own first okay prioritize focus Okay, now we are focused. Split energy leads to poor results. Prioritize the most important business task and get them done first. So this is being true to yourself. Okay, Muse, you're good. Yeah, you inspire a lot of people. Writing down ideas, coffee. You, some of you all may like coffee, black coffee, tea, uh, the beach, water, purification. Some of you all may deal with a water side, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it's a rebirth. Okay, this coming to, uh, to an end, this coming alive again, a rebirth. So spirit wants you to be who you are, the light. Walk into your light. Your authenticity. Take time away from your daily hustle. Give yourself quiet time in nature to muse. Create space for your creativity and fresh ideas will flow. Okay? Trust. Okay? Trust in the divine. Trust in yourself. Be true to yourself. Okay? Implement a solid marketing plan that builds your clients trust in you. When you show up consistently for them, they'll know that you care. They'll know that you care when you show up consistently for them. Okay? Not hiding. Okay? Sell. Some of you all may be selling things right now. Selling makeup. Selling brands. Selling whatever. But educating. I see you guys are in the limelight already. Just out there selling things okay learn the arts of sales embrace selling as a sacred exchange of energy well-being and goodwill between you and your ideal clients okay train some of you all may be working out but this may be a third-party situation but again fighting with who you are who are you 
who are you okay you see you you looking at two other people it's like finding oneself trying to find oneself exercise daily to keep your body spirit strong healthy and full of energy you need to build your business and move forward take action okay you guys are move forward take action all right but overcome your fear overcome your fear to take real action to move your business forward don't wait or justify step out of your comfort and take your next action step okay that's plain and simple i don't know who this reading is for but anyway i gotta go i'm possible you're possible you're sc touch side i'm out